Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and we've got two pieces of Oculus related news. And I gotta admit, they have nothing to do with each other. I just had to combine them in a thumbnail picture somehow, so that's what I did. So we've got two pieces of news completely unlinked. I just figured they wouldn't really make their own video, so I put them both together. They've both got the common theme of being Oculus related, so let us jump in. Now the first one is probably the most relevant to the majority of this channel. It is that Oculus and Unity have teamed up together to create a course on how to develop VR. Uh, so here we are on the Unity blog. You see here, we've partnered with Oculus to create a free intermediate level course designed, develop, and deploy for VR. You'll learn VR best practices and how to build and launch your own vertical slice of a game from Unity and Oculus experts. Now, vertical slice literally means that you take a small chunk out of a game and they implement just that portion of it. It's a way of capturing workflow without having to go through the tedium of creating an entire game. Now, the impressive thing with this tutorial is this part right here, intermediate level. Level. There's not actually a ton of stuff out there uh, on the Unity Learn platform that is aimed at the intermediate level. There's a ton of stuff for the advanced, and then there's a ton of stuff on a single topic. Nothing really course-wide like what we were seeing here. So obviously, with a partnership with Oculus, it is going to focus on um, VR. We partnered with Oculus to launch an extensive intermediate level course, guiding you through all aspects of building a virtual reality game. As the VR industry continues to grow and mature, developers are asking more questions uh, about making the switch to VR. VR, and developers who already work in VR want to improve their skills. That's why we teamed up with the experts at Oculus to build this comprehensive VR course called Design, Develop, and Deploy for VR. It's a total of 20, um, 20 hours of course material from these people, from both Oculus and um, the Unity team. Um, and here is what the course contents are. Unit 1 is Introduction. Uh, unit 2 is VR Game Development and Prototyping. Unit 3 is Using Unity to Develop VR Experiences. Unit 4 is Locomotion and Ergonomics. Unit 5 is Hand Presence and Interaction. Unit 6 is Best UI Practices for VR. Unit 7 is Sound in VR. Unit 8 is prefer uh, Performance Requirements. Unit 9 is Optimizations. Unit 10 is Testing. And Unit 11 is Submission and Go-to-Market Strategy. Obviously, this is very oriented towards um, Oculus hardware, though if you're developing VR for, say, um, the HTC Vive, you should still be fine with a lot of the course material here, but in this particular case, you need Unity, the Oculus SDK, and VRTK, and the Oculus hardware. So this is obviously aimed at uh, Oculus hardware, which makes sense because it's Oculus developers. Each one is hosted on the Unity Learn project. If you've never used Unity Learn, I've done a video on this. It is their online learning platform available in both free and premium formats. This particular course is free. And what you'll notice, there were 11 categories, and this one is two hours and 40 minutes. So those, they, you know, tend to be about two hours a piece for 20 hours of content total. Um, a lot of times you actually get text materials and video. In this particular case, you get just video for this particular one. And here you see quick jump between the different courses. It tracks what you are doing and how you are progressing. Actually, let me sure make sure that this one is video only. So let's drill this down. Uh, so the essential strat, oh, I got to sign it. Okay, I don't really want to go that far. Uh, so anyways, the course is here on Unity Learn. You can also get it just by going straight to learn.unity.com or you can check out the Unity blog post. I will, of course, link that in the linked article down below. So that is part one of the news. This new 11-part, uh, 20-hour VR course team up between Unity and Oculus. Definitely good if you are one of those people still working in the VR space. I think a little bit of the thunder was taken out of VR over the last year or so, but I still think there are a number of people working here that would benefit from such a free course. All right, so that is the one piece of news. The other piece of news requires me to do something I am loath to do. We are now heading to Facebook. Yep. That, unfortunately, is where this announcement was made. And in a nutshell, uh, John Carmack is quitting o um, Oculus slash Facebook. He is no longer going to be their CTO or Chief, Check uh, Chief Technology Office Officer. Uh, he is now kind of moving into a consulting position with Oculus for now. And it's going to be a very modest slice of my time. As for what I'm going to be doing the rest of my life, when I think back over everything I have done across games, aerospace, and VR, I have always felt that I have had at least a vague line of sight to the solution, even if they were unconventional or unproven. I have sometimes wondered how I would fare with a problem where the solution really isn't in sight. I decided that I should give it a try before I get too old. I'm going to work on artificial general intelligence. Uh, he's going to be working on his own with his son. He's kind of a 
Uh, for the time being, I'm going to be going about it Victorian gentleman scientist style, pursuing my inquiries from home and drafting my son into the work. Uh, runner up for this was going to be nuclear fusion or uh, fission reactors, which he didn't think was as suitable for work at home with his son. Um, so yeah, John Carmack is a modern day genius. I don't think too many people are going to question that. And I will say one thing. If John Carmack is going to be jumping hands first into the artificial intelligence uh, realm, thank God that he is leaving Facebook first. Because uh, the place I want to have the least success when it comes to artificial intelligence is the evil entity known as Facebook. We do not need more AI ability coming out of them. They would just use it for even more evil than they already do. So, yeah, basically it sounds like John Carmack is pretty much quitting. At least he's quitting full-time at Oculus and it, this this kind of wording. When you're a consultant CTO, you're probably just bridging the gap until some new CTO can come in. He's effectively dedicating his life to artificial general intelligence development. And you really you can't fault this guy. Like he went from creating um, Doom and Quake, then he started his own rocket company, and then he kind of went to Oculus. I, I don't know. I've always kind of wondered, to be honest, if he knew when he jumped to Oculus that four months later, Facebook was going to be buying them. I got a feeling he didn't, but he stuck around. He, he's he's a really tech first guy, and he is someone in that the world of game development owes a hell of a lot to. Now, it's a shame that he's not doing more in game development, but I can understand to somebody like that, he's probably just bored. And good on him, he's basically dedicating himself to pure sciences. Unfortunately, he may create the next Skynet, um, so that's the downside. Uh, but yeah, so this is probably one of the only times you're going to see me posting Facebook on the site. Uh, yeah, I, I hate to do that to you folks, but you know what? That's where it was posted. That's where he works. That's what happened. And it's unfortunate, but yeah, so that's what's happening. Now, what do you think? Do you think this is uh, kind of abandoning ship maybe at Oculus? Because Oculus also just re uh, canceled the Oculus Rift 2. Now, people say that's because they're focusing in another direction. Or, you know, is, is this maybe kind of the beginning of the end for the whole Facebook's investment in Oculus? It's kind of interesting to see what is going on there. But regardless of all of that, I do have to applaud John Carmack for following his dreams even if his dreams may result in our future eradication. All right, so that's it. We got two pieces of news together, both with a common Oculus theme. Uh, so again, we have a set of VR tutorials from uh, a team up between Unity and Oculus, and then we have John Carmack leaving Oculus, uh, at least mostly leaving Oculus as it stands. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of VR specifically, actually, and I guess to a certain degree what you think of Facebook and artificial intelligence. But do you think VR has kind of had its moment and it, it, or are we still waiting for its moment or do we think it's kind of on the downward spiral? I'm curious to hear what your opinion here is. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.